Think of the last time someone tried to persuade you. Maybe it was a salesperson, or a friend, or a coworker. Maybe your boss, or even a family member. Think of how they tried to persuade you with research and facts. They told stories, and they referenced authority figures as their sources. They were right, you were wrong, and they were going to convince you for your own good. Now, I want you to flip it. Maybe you were the person doing the persuading. You needed to convince the other person to change for their own good. You might be a daughter looking to convince your mom, or a father instructing your son, or a friend looking out for your lifelong pal, or you could be a seller seeking new customers. Persuasion has always been the way, despite how it tends to push people away. Hi, I'm Jeff Molander. I study how the most effective communicators are giving up on persuasion. Instead, they are helping people convince themselves to make change, not by telling them what's best for them. Instead, by helping the other person begin the journey of convincing themselves, by getting them a little bit curious. You see, curiosity is the key to opening the minds of people who have already made their minds up. Let's do this. Right now, think about the last time someone tried to sell you a new idea or a product or a service. Remember how the other person was persuading you? And how the harder that they worked to persuade, the more that you resisted. See, that's what happens when we persuade people. They resist, naturally. So, for example, let's say you want something really nice for yourself. You start looking around at the store. Now, you can't afford this gift for yourself, but you're gonna figure a way out to make it work. Sooner or later, a salesperson is bound to approach you. Now, smart sellers don't try to persuade you, they help you begin to persuade yourself because this eliminates the need to sell. Getting somebody curious, helping them ask that next logical question helps them begin to convince themselves. Think about that new gift that you wanted. Did you need a salesperson to persuade you to buy it? No, not really. Or did you need a way to begin to convince yourself to buy it? You got me. Most of us will convince ourselves of an action that we probably shouldn't take if we aren't pushed. Whether you're a salesperson or uh, you want somebody important to you to consider change, persuasion pushes them away. Curiosity, curiosity pulls. If you are curious about using curiosity to your advantage, hit subscribe and explore this channel. All the best.